and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with my manga haul for the month of January. January has been a little bit of a weird month for me in terms of collecting and that I probably haven't bought as much as I usually would but I've had a very specific focus this month and it's really sort of been chasing down old shoujo beat titles. Back in the day, like 2008, 2007, a lot of shoujo beat series were released that I've always been meaning to collect and never got around to because there was always other things and I guess I waited too long and uh, a lot of the volumes that I needed were selling for like six times the cover price and I was kicking myself because if I just ordered them sooner, I could have just bought them for like $10 each in Australian dollars anyway so that made me really mad and I thought no I'm gonna spend the month hunting down the volumes that I need and I think it was relatively successful but the first volume of manga I'm gonna show you for this month was actually gifted to me by my friend for my birthday and this is Flower of Life volume 1 by Fumi Yoshinaga so if you have been looking at any of my other manga hauls I have been hauling the series slowly started off with finding volume 4 really cheap which is the rarest volume and then slowly piecing it together so with volume 1 now that is my collection complete so thank you so much to my dear friend and now I'm so excited to be able to move flower of life from my collecting shelf to my completed shelf and the next series that I bought this month is a series that was one of the old Shoujo Beat titles that I was talking about and I've been meaning to collect it for a while and I just never got around to it. But here is We Were There Volume 1 by Yuki Obata. So this series basically follows this girl called Nanami. She starts high school and she develops a crush on this boy Yano from her class. So he's the class president and she's the vice president and they spend a lot of time together like working together and she sort of expresses an interest in him and he rejects her just on the basis that his ex-girlfriend died the year before and he's still getting over her death. So I sort of felt like this was one of the more unique titles that Shoujo Beat's done with sort of those themes. Like there hasn't really been too many manga that I've seen out there that have dealt with themes of death and loss and grief. So I thought this one might be quite interesting uh, to read through and see how these young characters um, sort of deal with that. So this is volume one. And then we have volume two. I really like volume two of Nanami and Yano together. And then here is the cover of volume three. I had to order volume four from Right Stuff because it was going out of stock on a lot of websites. And so this is volume four. And then if you're looking to collect this series, volume nine is now going to be your biggest struggle. So when I watched a um, video of a, another manga YouTuber talking about this series, it made me want to look this up and start to buy it. And then I realized to my horror that volume nine was out of print and was selling for a lot of money. And so thankfully I managed to find it still in stock on Right Stuff. So if you do want to start collecting this series now, make sure that you can find a copy of Volume 9. And then I ordered Volume 13. So basically the way that I sort of determined which ones are going out of print was I looked on Amazon and I just looked at the ones that had the least amount of offers. So some of them had like 70 offers of new and used and then others had like 20. So the least offers that were available, the more I thought they were at risk of going out of print. So that's how I managed to decide to pick up volume 13 as well. And then the other old Shoujo Beat title that I managed to pick up this month is a series that I've wanted for a really long time and I actually remember that um, one of the big anime companies was doing a manga sale in Australia and these volumes were about $4 a piece and I did not pick them up. I picked up voiceover Seiyu Academy instead, which is still in print by the way, and I passed over this series and this series is Stepping on Roses by Rinko Ueda. So someone commented on my manga collection video saying that if I liked Tale of the Moon, I would like Stepping on Roses. And it made me think and it made me go, oh my goodness, um, I really need to get on that series. So I had a look on Amazon 
And um, this volume right here, volume four, was selling for about $70. And that was insane. It was fluctuating between 70 to 100 US dollars. And I, my heart sank. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to find this volume. And I don't know what possessed me, but I searched Stepping on Roses on Book Depository. I don't know why I thought they would have it. Like, if Amazon and stuff didn't have it, I don't know why I thought Book Depository didn't. But Book Depository was showing that it was 10 uh, Australian dollars and that it was available from an Australian warehouse. So I placed an order and they didn't do anything about it for like a week. And I thought, no, they're going to turn around. They're going to cancel it. They're going to cancel it. And here it is. It actually arrived and I was so shocked. So here is volume four. And then volume five was also going out of stock as well on Amazon and stuff. So I ordered a copy on Book Depository as well. And this one arrived as well. So now I have both of the current out of print volumes of Stepping on Roses, but I do feel like other volumes will follow suit. So Stepping on Roses is basically about Sumi and her brother keeps bringing home these orphaned and struggling children, but they can't really afford to look after the children and then look after themselves at the same time. They're quite poor. Um, and so this man here decides that if she marries him, that he will pay for her to live a comfortable life. Um, and so I guess it's kind of just the developing relationship between the two of them. So, yep, sounds kind of dramatic and uh, over the top and um, right up my alley. So I'm really excited to read this. And then while I was on the hunt for volumes, we were there and stepping on roses in my local comic book store. I found that Maki and Georgie has come out with a new series called SP Baby. I am slightly disappointed though to find out that it's only a two volume series, that it is a short story and it's not like a full blown developed story like Happy Marriage. But I'm going to support anything by Maki and Georgie because I really love her work and I don't think that we get enough Jorset. Um, published over in the West so if anything comes out I will gladly show my support so here is volume one of SP baby and it basically uh, follows the story of this woman who's late for a job interview and she saves this man and then he decides to offer her a job as his bodyguard so yeah kind of your basic setup for your smutty romance thing I don't know and so that is it for my monk haul for the month of January I know that it was slightly smaller than my usual ones but um, I feel like I've been really productive this month in sort of just getting hard to find volumes and making sure that I can complete some series that I've really wanted to complete for a long time so in the comment section below please feel free to let me know if you've read any of these series and what you thought of them or what manga you bought this month and if you want to keep up with my other monthly hauls please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video Bye guys!